and like the way people might do a huge project like create a sculpture I want to say like every moment every hour and every day is a sculpture of your life you are a creative being so some people think like you know that arts are, are po and poetry they their art or they're their creative to be artistic to be artistic and creative is to do art poetry music dance some sort of amazing thing like whoa but I want to say like writing a letter to your loved one or people you live with saying like love you or you're great like or even just like commenting or writing a message or writing every moment is a creative mo a, um, a, a moment of creation and act everything is an act of creation this video is uh, the next word you say is an act of creation. The next letter you write or type is an act of creation. Your next movement is an act of creation. So I'm not trying to just, I'm trying to say, and this is true, it's not just about the big, shiny, glossy, stand-up moments that it's creative. Everything is creative. You are creative. We are, and you are a divine creative being. And that's what life is all about. It's not about remembering who you are. It's about creating who you are and who you want to be next. It's continuously going forward, creating, creating, creating who you want to be next. So, Conversations with God, which is a channeled book by Neil Donald Walsh, which I love, is a trilogy. I read that, you just listened to that years ago. One of the things they say in that is, in it, the only question you need to ever ask yourself in making a decision is, is this a declaration of who I am and who I want to be? And I agree with that. So, if ever you have an argument with someone, you have a fight, or something goes, unwanted, something goes bad, wrong, or something is going great and you're feeling inspired, or you're thinking of doing something but you're, you're stopped because you'd be afraid, <gasps> people watching me or something, ask yourself, is this a declaration of who I am and who I want to be? And then you'll think, no, I don't want to do this anymore, this is not my legacy, who I am and who I want to be when I pass on, this is not who I am and who I want to be, I'm somebody different, and you do something nicer or better more positive, more loving, more kind, more compassionate, more genuine and true to your heart. And that's how you live life. Not So don't make a decision based around fear or excessive care to care of what other people think. You have to be true to yourself and live life free. You are free. The truth shall set you free is my favorite quotation. Because you are the truth and you will set you free. Not falsehood will keep you bonded. You are peace, love, light, joy, I am, happiness, sincerity, freedom, beauty, creativity, unspoiledness, amazingness, pure creative potential. Always creative potential, always now creating, all the potential, always going forward. There's no stopping us, there's no saying what we could say or do next, like beep! <laughs> Pure creative potential, that potential was there, but I decided to activate it, you know. Pop! <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> and it, you don't have to live life based on what you did in the past, or even yesterday. You can make up, make new, refresh, make fresh. Everything about yourself, your body, your life, your relationships, your career, your family, everything. The world is your oyster. It's one of my other favorite quotations. <laughs> or sayings. It's amazing. The world is your oyster. And the truth that set you free is falsity and false ideas and false beliefs that make us bonded. Fear, you know, excessive false beliefs and care and all this type of stuff. I don't know. Let loose and uh, enjoy yourself. Um, look after yourself, love yourself. And uh, subscribe, share, like, favorite check in my links below please all of these things guys let me explain to you support my channel's popularity and i'm not doing that for ego reasons but it helps my obviously me my personal life my family my loved ones my partner my family relationship everything and it helps spread this message to the world for humanity to kind of just mature more and then we can become more one all sorts of beautiful things then that's when ETs will make global uh, physical contact with us much more then instead of you know the way they are at the moment because we're ununited at the moment we're squabbling like children like babies obviously just... <laughs> anyway guys I want to say thanks if you do support me in my life personally because that's what it is it's a personal act when you give my videos a like all those type of things so 
I won't go on about it, but if you want one to one spiritual, radiant, abundant life coaching of body, mind, spirit to make breakthroughs and shift into a massive more joy and happiness and peace and love in your life, just abundance of all levels. And if you want to buy my books or check out my Higher Self website, Higher Self Herbs website, which is my herb shop, um, Herbs and Superfood shop to help recharge, charge and supercharge your life and your body and your mind and your spirit. Please have a look below and thanks again for all of your help. And see you again. I hope you liked this video. So please leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to get on my day now and see you again in another video. Thanks and I look forward to hearing from you and connect with me on Facebook. Okay, see you. I'd love to, love to connect with you as well. Okay, bye. Smell the flowers. <laughs>